Good morning, beautiful people of the great sun land and beautiful people of the world. It's Lucas and Dusty and Star broadcasting live from the ark. I better give you a look at the Dusty and Star. And there he is. I love these guys. Hey, Pumba. Hey, Starry. Where you going, mate? She decided to get up. Hey, Pumba. Hey, Mr. Pumba. How you doing, Mr. Pumba? Hey, how you doing, Mr. Pumba? Hey, hey, Mel. Thanks for tuning in. Starry's having a bit of a feed here, down next to the altar. So I just want to set up this camera. Hope everyone's having a good uh, a good week. It's Sunday, so I'll be having another fire uh, this evening. I hope you've got your fire stuff ready. And remember, a fire only has to be the, the size of the palm of your hand. Like you can literally use just one little piece of paper, or a couple of little bits of paper, um, and some really small sticks. It doesn't have to go for long. It doesn't have to be big. It just has to be a little fire. Probably the smaller the better because you, you're using less materials, right? You're, you're um, consuming less materials. That's a message that's been coming to me is to use less wood, you know? Um, be less consumptionist, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, a little fire could literally be the size of the palm of your hand um, just out the backyard somewhere or anywhere you choose. Could be on a plate, you know, could be on a hot plate, could be anywhere. So fires are really easy, but today is Sunday, so it's the second um, ceremony we'll be having. Um, probably gonna do a quiet one myself today. Um, so just do again your own, this will be the second and then next Sunday will be the third one. So releasing anything, um, you know, just really putting that energy down and releasing it, letting it go. Um, anything that's holding you back or causing stress and anxiety, let just put it into that fire and let that go. As we're coming up to the uh, winter solstice period. But what I just wanted to talk about the post I just put up, because um, I'm hearing there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, people a lot of madness maybe a lot of um you know people just sort of going a bit crazy out there maybe given the circumstances that's completely understandable so um i'm just going to read what i wrote and then i'll talk about it people act the way they act based on how they feel yep which is usually governed by their environment, and their environment can be food, it can be um, electromagnetic fields, it can be, uh, you know, through electricity in the house, can be um, radiation, can be um, things they're putting into their body. Their environment consists of all of these things. It can be psychological, the people around them, their family, uh, the state of their family, how their family are feeling, are their family stressed out? If their families are stressed out, then they're going to be stressed out. It's a, it, it's the environment encompasses the entire um, frequency, vibration, you know, and that dictates the vibration and the frequency of the, the body and the person in that environment, right? Um, not so much for some people, but for other people, uh, a lot more than others, you know what I mean? So, um, so... It's a stressed environment, you know, in those cities, in, 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 in those cities where they've got those towers, even before those high flea ones, you know, they still were, were, the stress levels were ramping up because the frequencies and the EMF and the food and everything was um, degrading um, to the human body and the cells. So even though people don't see or realize, um, you know, why they're probably stressed, um, there's so many things in their environment in those, you know, suburbs and, and, and major cities um, that are stressful to the body on a um, cellular level, uh, which most people don't even know exists. So they don't realize why they are stressed or why their family is stressed and not well. Um, and because of that, 
they are stressed and what they're doing is they're trying to find an outlet for that stress right and this becomes particularly dangerous um, when you have public officers who are very stressed um, on a cellular level yeah this isn't even without this is without the job and without all that they're, they're stressed on a cellular level their families are probably stressed um, and then they've got orders they're getting told to do things by people who are paying them um, based on whatever beliefs they have um, and then they're coming up against this resistance or, or, or another stressful entity so you've got two stressful entities you know you've got the, the public officers and then you've got the people and both entities are extremely stressed um, not so much because of any fault of their own some some yes um, but because of the environment so when you've got two bodies of energy that are both stressed coming head to head all that's going to happen is a, an eruption of that stressful energy right so we need to um, because we are aware of what's happening and we can see why the stresses are being caused um, in the people yeah because of the environment um, you know everyone is stressed right so the job of the people who are aware of this is 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 they have more responsibility than the public officers they have more responsibility than anyone else because they know why the stress is, is there even though they're feeling it you know even though they're stressed they have to rise above that stress level and bring it back down and try and transmute that stress and transmute that energy from a place of stress from a, a frequency of stress into one of calm or, or, or um, you know like a a, a a unifying way of of putting that message out like yes i see your stress I, I know your stress i know you're doing your job um and we're stressed as well we're really stressed my family's hungry you know my children are starving my business is dead you know we are extremely stressed can you not see it be vulnerable and be real yeah if you've got emotions coming up from that then let them out not angrily but if you want to cry because you you know your life's being destroyed then cry you know what i mean not not but not in in um don't be aggressive because the aggression just feeds that stressful environment and the more aggression and the more stress that gets put into it yep the bigger that stress bubble becomes yeah that's how it works yep so whatever happens when people come together they must do it in the most peaceful way yep even if you, you can see that the other side is stressed you can see that people the public officers are stressed you can see there's agitators there no problem don't get caught up in that energy don't get dragged into that stress bubble yep you you, you you're the beacon of light that reduces that level of stress right that's your job you've got to reduce the stress level okay make it a calm environment because if if not then it's going to be you know a big concoction of stress because everyone is stressed on a cellular level yeah being in those environments it's 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 basically an impossibility not to be okay all right so people act the way they act based on how they feel which is usually governed by their environment a stressed environment equals a stressed body equals a stressed community right equals a stressed nation okay doesn't matter who's causing the stress or what's causing the stress yep yeah, that's another issue but we, we, we notice the stressful environment and we just gonna have to focus on um, diffusing a stressful environment okay and trusting that there is a afterlife now we've got the Anubis dogs here guarding the passage to the afterlife there is an afterlife up here we have the scales of justice with Anubis there and then we have Osiris here, the god of the underworld, right? Trust that there is something else 
at play. Okay, there is another realm at play, and, and we don't need to be responsible for other people's, um, for their path, yeah, we just have to be the beacon of light that we were born to be, and, you know, now is the time, yep, yeah? in all those years leading up to this, you know, you were ahead of your time, but you are here for this time right now. This is what you've been training for your entire life, plus previous lifetimes, right? Okay, so a stressed environment equals a stressed body. Spirits or energies in form of humans are looking for somewhere to discharge, yep, yeah? to discharge their internal energetic buildup which at this time appears to be massive amounts of stress, anger, and deep suppression, right? They're all feeling it. The people are feeling it. The public officers are feeling it. The entire community is feeling it, okay? We are all in it together, whether we like it or not, regardless of our beliefs and whatever. Everyone is in it together, okay? So they're looking for somewhere to discharge their energy, right? And 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 the you know the Victoria Police and the police, what they their their role is to govern the dead, right? They literally work for Satan, okay? Their role is to govern the dead, right? So <sighs> it's a stressful job, right? Okay, um, and with this, couple that with the cellular stress that's happening to their body, even though they don't realize why it's happening, they're very, very stressed. So don't don't feed that stress, right? Okay, so that because they are looking unconsciously, they are looking for somewhere to discharge their personal stress. And remember, they've got the guns, right? So they're looking for somewhere to discharge their internal personal stress that they are feeling because of, you know, how they're feeling or how their family's feeling or the current situation based on the policies passed down by the government, not by the people, but they're stressed out because of the policies being passed down, right? But, you know, they're looking for somewhere to discharge that stress. They can't discharge it on their superior officers or they'll be out of a job. Right, so who are they going to discharge it on? They're going to discharge it on the people who are below them in the sense that they have less power because they don't have guns and capsicum spray. All right, so they're going to discharge it on the weaker people because that's what you know bullies do. If they feel upset or they feel angry, they discharge their stress or their anger on some poor innocent person. That's just how they are, right? Because they don't. They're too unconscious, they're not consciously able to um, observe themselves and go, hey, I'm stressed out, you know, and it's not this guy's fault, it's not this guy's fault, this, there's some reason I'm stressed out, what is it, you know, um, oh, it's these policies and it's because I feel so suppressed and, 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 and oppressed and uh, because uh, my body doesn't feel so good um, because you're being attacked by these frequencies, right? Um, and the food they're feeding you and the stuff they, they, they're putting in the sky is literally agitating your body on a cellular and a physical and biological level, right? So they don't realize this. So they're just looking, all they know is that they, they've been told to do something and um, internally they're a bit stressed, which they probably don't talk about because they don't want anyone to think they've got the, you know, the, um, the thing. Um, so they don't talk about it, but... They're looking for somewhere to discharge that stress. They can't talk about it with their psych officers or they'll be pulled out of the job, right? And then they're pulled out of the job and they've got no job. So the only place they can discharge that energy is on the people, yep? And they are looking for a reason to discharge that energy on the people. So do not give them a reason, ever. Do not get in their face. Do not give them a reason to discharge their own internal stress on you, right? There is no need for it. You go, you know what? I see, brother. 
I see that you're stressed out. I see your sister and I see you're stressed out and I'm stressed out and I'm hurting too because my business is and, and my family's going hungry and I don't know what we're going to do and, and, and everyone's like stressed out, you know. Just, if you're going to communicate with them, do it on a human level, right? I see, I, I see, I see you. I see your stress. I feel it because I'm so stressed out. Tell them why you're stressed. Just tell them. You don't need to yell. Don't yell. You know, you are in the position where you can control your energy because you consciously know why you are the way you are. You consciously know why you're stressed. You know it's not your personal fault, right? There are external factors working here creating this stressful environment. Make no doubt about it, okay? Right. So transmute these energies with calm, love, or pure vulnerability. You know what I find really works? Is just when I'm around people that are stressed, and I did a lot of uh, breath work classes with a lot of people, and one of the best things you can do for someone who's having a really strong experience whether conscious or unconscious, and they don't even realize you're doing it, is this. How many of you that have pets have been in a sort of an unsettled state without really realizing it but then you've heard your cat or your dog just breathe right and it reminded you to breathe yep they didn't say anything all they were doing was just breathing but when you do that that subconscious they see it and it goes straight in subconsciously and they're like and they remember to breathe and it calms the situation So by you just breathing and calming yourself, you will calm those around you. Literally, you can send your breath. Yep, I've done it in groups where there have been people on the other side of the room who are having a stressful experience. And you can literally send them your breath and you can calm that situation without moving. You can literally send your breath to people. Yep. Okay. So transmute these energies with calm, love, or pure vulnerability. Right. Responding in anger or perceived opposition to such energies can only see them grow. Naturally, it can only feed it and it can only grow. Okay. And expand through feeding it. Fueling it and therefore expanding it. Love, patience and understanding that they are merely lost souls looking for an unconscious way to release their own demons. Their demons are their unsettled um, subconscious feelings. Yep. Okay. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at yeah this is what need people need to to hear this and and practice this okay and trust that whatever they do yeah you don't need to respond whatever they do he who lives by the sword will die by the sword yep they will be judged on the scales make no mistake about it there is an afterlife and there is judgment do not fear about that some people believe that the earth is is heaven or hell? No, it's not. Earth is just a training ground for souls, right? Money is just a part of that training operation, right? That's why, you know, um, the Vatican yeah, controls the money, right? Because they control the dead souls, the lost souls of the planet, right? That's why the Victoria Police have the upside down pentagram and they're defined as demons in the Oxford Dictionary because they are the, um, they are the, they are there to keep the dead people in, um, the dead souls by and, and when i say dead i mean the corporate people yeah you have a corporate name you're capitalized which means that you are a corporation which means that you are dead and if you don't realize that you've been capitalized and, and that that is um you know 
that all capital name is the corporation, which means that you're a dead person. If you don't even know that that is a dead person, then you're already dead, right? If you don't know who you are, what was it Jesus said something about? Um, in my name, only you shall be saved, right? His name is not an all capital name, right? That's attached to the birth certificate, the driver's license, the Medicare card. All of these things, right? All of these cards, yep, yeah, you've got to send back, right? Because they are have no other God before me, right? That's one of the, um, the, the first Ten Commandments, yeah? So by, by seeking permission to have those licenses and all those things, then you are admitting that you have a God before God, yeah, before the, the divine creator. You're admitting that there is a man that is above you and that he has to give you permission, right? So therefore, you are breaking, uh, breaking the first commandment, okay? And um, by ignoring, you know, that the all capital language is not English, yeah, by ignoring that fact... Yeah, that reality, well, you are living in ignorance, right? And, um, you know, what is the maxim of law, you know? Um, ignorance is no excuse of the law, and he who wishes to be deceived, let them be deceived, right? And in Freemasonry, you know, um, which the light is the highest aspiration of any Freemason, right? Um, then... You know, the question is is raised in in the book of in the Bible of Freemason. You know, what does Freemason we think about ignorance? An ignorant um, Mason is a burden, is a drone and a burden on the order. Right? That's that's what you are if you don't realise what's going on. Okay, that's why you've got to send all that stuff back. You've got to give back to Caesar that which is Caesar's. Right? Give back to Rome that which is Rome because Rome governs the dead. Yep. Okay? okay, that's that's the job of Rome, right? Okay. Hey, Gordon. The first win to freedom. I haven't seen that one, but um, you must watch and share. Lisa says, if you become conscious of your emotions, you can flip the negative ones into positive ones. It's hard but possible. You don't, you don't have to change your emotions. Your emotions are there to govern you, to tell you, hey, this is right and this is wrong. That's why your emotions are there. People try and control their emotions and they say that, oh, you shouldn't have emotions and you shouldn't have responses. No, your emotions are, uh, um, you know, some of them are born out of past experiments, uh, experiences or experiments and, um, and traumatic experiences, right? And they can trigger certain emotional responses. But our emotions are, um, you know, are also there to guide us and tell us what's right and what's wrong yeah you know like when we chop down that tree and we go fuck i don't feel good about chopping that tree down i don't feel good about digging that hole that's how our emotions and our conscious saying well maybe you shouldn't be doing it right yeah so yeah no need to control them but just recognize them and um and 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 notice when you're feeling them and 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 shape your future accordingly yeah so you don't do that again or, or if you do it again you're going to be mindful and go oh, let's see how i feel about it this time you know what i mean so we can learn as souls that's why we're here we are here to learn our souls are here to learn and we are all at different stages of our soul's evolution right but we all will pass through these doors yep into the afterlife and we will all get judged on the scales Right? So, interesting um, canon law, right? Because, and I opened up to this, uh, this is the, the code of canon law, Latin to English, and I just opened up to this page. It's book three, the teaching functions of the church. Right now, because um, it appears that uh, you know, this country and basically the entire Western civilization is under Roman um, rule, right? Under the rule of the Vatican. Um, it comes under Roman rule, right? And everything in, in, in Rome must be done by consent, right? In their, in their um, religion. It must be done by consent or you bring the religion, 
You bring Rome into disrepute. So if you politicians are acting on behalf of Rome, yeah, if you are the Praetorian Guard that you claim to be, yes, then you cannot force people against their will, right? Consent must be, okay? <clears throat> well, this is Canon 748, subsection 2. No one is ever permitted to coerce persons to embrace the Catholic faith, faith correction against their conscience. Let me say that again. Canon 748, subsection 2. No one is ever permitted to coerce persons to embrace the Catholic faith, faith against their conscience. Let me say that again. Number 3. I'll get it right this time. Canon 748, subsection 2. No one is ever permitted to coerce persons to embrace the Catholic faith against their conscience. All right? So the policies you politicians are making, or you patricians, or you Praetorian Guard, whatever you want to be called, yeah, you are... You are you are bringing the Catholic Church into disrepute by coercing and forcing people to follow your rules and policies. Yep, against the canons. Yes, you're in breach of canon law. Okay, you're trying to force people to, um, whether they know it or not, or whether you know it or not, you're trying to force people to, um, you are forcing people to take on board and live in the um, ways of the Catholic Church. Yep. Therefore, you are denigrating the spiritual aspects of the Catholic Church. Yes. You are bringing it into disrepute. Okay, Canon 747. And this is important for those brave people out there who are still preaching the word of the divine creator. Okay? Canon 747, subsection 1. The church to which Christ the Lord has entrusted the deposit of faith so that with the assistance of the Holy Spirit it might protect the revealed truth reverently, examine it more closely, and proclaim and expound it faithfully, has the duty and innate right, independent of any human power whatsoever, to preach the gospel to all peoples, also using the means of social communications proper to do so. Okay? So... What that shows, any first of all, any politicians who's making policies where people can't go to church, it appears that you are breaking the canons again, once again, right? Which means, you know, you will be given as much rope as you ask for. Yes? But the more you take, the stronger it's going to be when it's wrapped around your neck. Do you understand what you are doing? You are being given rope. People in power, I'm not talking to everyone, but people in power are being given the rope to hang themselves with. That includes the public officers, the police officers, the politicians. Do you understand? Yep. You are in breach of your own faith because, you know, the great deceiver, right? He likes to deceive. Yeah, he likes to give people that, that option. To be the devil's advocate. Hey, you can have this and you can be part of, you know, you can be a Satanist or 
you can use your own conscience and do the right thing and be at one with the divine creator, right? So those men preaching, doing, doing great work. Problem being that as dead entities, as all capitalized beings, you don't have human rights because you are persons, right? Dead entities or categorized as persons according to them. Yep. Yeah. So it goes deep. You know who I really have the utmost respect for in his research? Well, two of them. Um, is Romley Stewart just an amazing man with incredible insight into this stuff that I'm talking about right now. And um, Rowan Lorien, I believe Rowan is, has been imprisoned uh, because of the information he's bringing to light up in Queensland. That man should be released immediately. You know, he's um, doing the work of divine creator. Yep. So that man must be released immediately. Um, Rowan Lorien. And and Romney Stewart, look up their stuff, the Glosser Channel. If you, I, I will continue sharing the information and trying to break it down. Um, but he does a really good job as well, you know. And he's been studying it for years and years. He knows what he's talking about, right? So, um, and and he put me on this path, you know, watching his stuff and Wayne Glue stuff, you know, and, and and salute to Wayne Glue as well, amazing men, you know, all them men. All them men who came before even my time um, have done incredible work, you know. Um, so look up their stuff. But people have got to... I won't talk about that now. I'll, I'll do it later. So that's it. So thanks for watching. Please share this video. And um, Aram Shah. Aram Shah, Aram Shah, stay calm, stay in peace, yeah, do not feed the stress bubble with more stress, you know you're stressed, you know why you're stressed, yeah, do not feed, do not bring stress and stress together, yeah, transmute that stress of their stress with your calm love and understanding and compassion okay thank you thanks for watching please share it and um i hope you got something out of it uh much love many blessings don't forget to have your fire tonight for sunset yep again it can be just the size of your hand it only has to be a small fire it doesn't have to be big just any fire put your intentions into it write them down and put them in the fire and um, we'll be doing that for sunset. It's probably going to be about 5.45, 6 o'clock. I don't know if I'll get on and do another video beforehand or not. But just, um, you know, just do, do that if you feel uh, the will to do it. So thanks for watching and please share many blessings from Lucas Dusty.